What's up everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. Oh man, see when you have these car rides and I don't text when I drive, you know, you got a lot of things to do. Um, so I was actually listening to the radio and uh, and I heard a clip of 2 Chains, who's the hip hop artist, I'm going to say that. I don't know if you even call it rap anymore. When I grew up it was rap, gangster rap. I think they got away from calling it rap because the... Uh, you know, it has that negative connotation to it. Uh, so let's say hip hop artist, Two Chains, and uh, he got on there and he was talking to Nancy Grace, who I I, I think she's part mentally handicapped anyway. Um, I've never really agreed with. She's a nanny state liberal, uh, from what I can understand, from what I've heard her say. And uh, Two Chains basically destroyed her, and I'm gonna link it down below. And there is a piece. It starts at 540 when I think two chains. And and I love the fact that I'm referencing two chains in a in a conversation about a debate. Yeah, my man two chains was debating. It's it's just really cool. But Nancy Grace basically there's a video and she kept showing it. That was her only thing of some irresponsible parent uh, forcing or coercing or whatever their two year old to smoke pot. Now you could do the same thing with things that are legal. A cigarette. Is that two chains? Like, I don't even let my kid have caffeinated beverages because I think they're too strong. And you can tell two chains, he went to college on a scholarship for basketball. He's a smart, articulate. He basically defecates all over every stereotype. I mean, you know, of everything that a hip hop artist would have. And it was very refreshing to see this debate because as a libertarian, usually there's a couple of things that you see, you, you'll see the peace, love, and socialization hippies. You know, and, and, and again, I'm not, I, I'm a libertarian, but you know, don't don't put me in the I love George Bush corner, because that's not the case. The I love Obama corner, that's definitely not the case. Um, I'm a Ron Paul guy, and if you guys are offended by the fact that I'm a Ron Paul guy, um, it is what it is, Ron Paul's not running. I'm not gonna say who I want to win this election now, because I don't even know how this thing's panning out, man. It's a mess, I saw Romney, was winning the polls in Iowa. I mean, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing every time and expecting a different result? So anywho, um, Two Chains gets on there and he's like, look, it's all about being a responsible parent. This person's an imbecile and I believe I'm paraphrasing pretty well. They have problems beyond marijuana and this is not a marijuana issue. This is an issue with personal responsibility. He also pointed out how we're wasting money in the prison system and the taxpayers, he said, as a taxpayer, my money is going towards this. He pointed out to a personal anecdote where he got popped for marijuana, ended up not even being his, cost him time, cost him money, cost the taxpayers time and money. And uh, just real quick, I wanted to point this out because whether you're on the side of legalizing marijuana or whether you're on the, I'm, I'm on the side of legalizing old drugs, um, to be honest with you, if it's a victimless crime, look, if we can point to why alcohol is legal and widely accepted, I've had more kids and people email me. I help a lot of people. I counsel a lot of people. Um, you know, people email me for help and a lot of it's due to alcoholism and how many people die. When you start smoking cigarettes, you know that's going to be a, contrib a major contributing factor to your death. Excuse me, yet those are legal. I still, in the war on pot, I saw a documentary on it. And it was started by some dude in like the third, it was just absolutely ridiculous. This uh, movie out, Google this, called Pot Crazy, I believe it was, um, was actually put out by the anti-marijuana zealots to illegalize something that shouldn't even be illegal. I have no idea why the war on pot was, how was pot even classified with heroin, cocaine, and other drugs is beyond me. But what Two Chains is saying is you can get pot anyway. You know, might as well just not have it, you know, bogged down the system. And this from someone who admittedly sold pot when he was in high school. So I'm looking at this and uh, and I'm, I'm just going to, for the record state, I've never tried marijuana. I've never tried it. Um, would I? Yeah, I, I would. I would. I wouldn't smoke it, but I definitely eat it in some consumable pastry. Yeah, I mean, I'm being real there. I have no issues with marijuana. Um, no issues with trying it. It's just not my cup of tea. It's, it's not something, even though I grew up in an atmosphere where a lot of people smoke pot around me, it just never was something that that tempted me or that, that got my interest. You know, I don't know why. I was, and, and I guess I the munchies would really help with bulking. 
But nonetheless, I'm not a big fan of Bob Pot for bodybuilding purposes. Dude, it's hormonal stuff, and if you're dieting, it's gonna be a bitch to keep the calories down, I guess. I don't know, but I just don't think it's necessary. But nonetheless, I'm a huge advocate of, of uh, legalizing. And so what I wanted to point out is that one common thread we need to learn about this, and here's how it ties into supplements. You have the right and the freedom to buy supplements. You know, you should have that right and freedom to buy supplements, right? And the government, if it wasn't for Deshay, the Deshay Act of 1990, you wouldn't be able to buy those supplements. And um, so what, what, it, what supplements do, rather than being regulated, they give you the personal responsibility, the right as a person to decide what you consume and don't consume. And what someone like Nancy Grace is saying is that it's up to the government, excuse me, let me straighten this. Is that it's up to the government, the government to regulate and tell us what we can and can't do with our bodies. Now, have you seen the idiots in charge of our government? Have you seen Boehner? I mean, have you seen Joe Biden? Do you really think these are the individuals we should trust to tell us what we can and can't do um, from a consumption standpoint? If I want to smoke a doobie, if I want to smoke a cigarette, if I want to drink alcohol, that's up to me. And I'm an informed adult. Now, I'm not saying we allow 10 year olds to walk into the grocery store. Obviously, they have age limits, age restrictions on alcohol. They have age restrictions on tobacco. And even so, how many underage kids are drinking and smoking anyway? But I'm not saying we just make it a free-for-all where 10-year-olds can go to the grocery store and buy marijuana. But here's the thing I want to point to. Marijuana has been legal in Colorado. Marijuana has been legal in Washington. Uh, it's now legal in D.C. Where's all the reports of bad shit happening due to marijuana? Where's all the people rioting in the streets because they're high? They're not rioting. You know why? Because they're happy. They're high. They're getting high. They're, they're, they're making love. They're eating fucking pastries. I mean, it's a great time. So I just want you, I want to point out two things. Well, actually, it might be more than two things. Let's start with two. One is, Two Chains is the fucking man. I like Two Chains. I like his music. I'm sorry, his hip hop. I'm so old and white. And uh, Nancy Grace is a fucking moron. And she's still a moron. And I don't think I've agreed with her on anything she said in the past since I, I watch her show probably once every two years. So I mean, I don't get a full big, a big sampling of it, but just from this exchange, it could show her thought process. And that's enough for me to say, she's an idiot. And um, if you listen to his argument, I just want you to chime in below. Uh, again, let's be nice. Any um, hints of any racist talk will be blocked immediately. I have to scratch myself. Any talks of any, any racism, anything of that nature, because I know this happens on the internet. That get, you get blocked and banned from this channel. Not that that's going to matter to you, but I don't want you anywhere near my fucking channel. Um, I want to hear your thoughts on if marijuana should be legalized and if not, why? Okay, I want to know why we shouldn't legalize, why it shouldn't be someone's personal responsibility whether they smoke weed or not. So um, that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching this. Click on the link down below to the video from Two Chains. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to just continue my drive here, man. I appreciate it. Sorry for um, sorry for the fisheye view on the friggin' GoPro. But you know what? I got like a five-hour fucking drive, and I'm going to actually put some content out there. Stuff I don't usually talk about. And one of those things is, hell, this is kind of political. But I'm not a shit. Look, I'm not going to pick. I'm not going to publicly go out on this channel because I've done it before and say who I'm voting for for president. You can probably guess based on their platforms who I'm going to vote for. Um, but I, I am not ashamed to say that my thought process is that of a libertarian. And I do believe in personal responsibility and freedoms, which is what this country was founded upon. And I believe in a smaller government. And, um, and I, think, uh, I think we're on the wrong path right now. I'm Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com! Because <laughs> smoking weed... Well, you almost have to smoke weed to watch that bitch Nancy Grace. That's not a game!